It is time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. I'm joined for that by Catalina Marchand Diabro. Welcome to you, Catalina. Um, a climate change activist group has been quite controversial uh, here in France. Just tell us a little bit more about them. These climate protesters are called the tire extinguishers, uh, whose one aim in life, as they describe on their website, is to make it impossible to own a huge, uh, polluting 4x4 in the world's urban areas. Uh, they do this by deflating uh, the tires of what they call these unnecessary vehicles. Uh, and by their own estimate, uh, tire extinguishers have uh, probably uh, wrecked more than 8,000 8, 8, uh, 8, uh, vehicles or tires so far worldwide and their movement seems to be pretty popular as you can see here in their Twitter page uh, they already have over 10,000 uh, followers uh, especially in the UK where this uh, movement began uh, back in 2021 here's a map uh, by the Daily Mail of all the places where the uh, tire extinguishers have struck uh, including uh, London uh, Lancashire Manchester Birmingham Bristol uh, so they've reached a large portion of the UK already so now if you own an SUV here in France, do beware, since they've recently imported uh, their movement here in France earlier in July. This is a photo taken in Paris uh, in August of one of their early operations. And here's uh, one more blurry photo of uh, one of the first cars they targeted in Paris on July 18th, uh, where uh, around 100 SUVs were disarmed in the swanky uh, 16th arrondissement, as they call it. Uh, and according to this tweet from uh, today on uh, Twitter, from uh, today on October 13th, uh, they have at least 80 SUVs have been disarmed just this week in uh, French territory. Tom? Okay, so just tell us a little bit about what they've been up to here in France then. The local controversy happened in the city of Lyon uh, with this uh, tweet right here uh, posted by f uh, tire extinguishers on October 9th uh, where their first action, they post their first action in Lyon where a total of uh, 14 SUVs were disarmed uh, and the controversy lies in this picture right here. We're just going to do a little close up of the vehicle that they targeted of this SUV which many users claim uh, belongs to a handicapped person. Okay, is it true that the uh, owner of that car then was a handicapped person? Uh, this doesn't have, happen very often in this show, but this is true. Uh, this vehicle right here does belong to a handicapped uh, person in Lyon. Uh, so how do we know? Our colleagues at uh, Czech News uh, and Liberation did the debunk for us. As many users online uh, following this post were left wondering, uh, did these anti-SUV activists really deflate the tires of a, of a disabled person in Lyon? Uh, following their tweet, many users went to Twitter also posting things like this uh, uh, to point out that the car displayed in the picture uh, was, a, uh, uh, was a handicapped person. This user right here saying, really? Uh, proud to have deflated the car of a handicapped person uh, with this uh, picture right here with a carte de mobilité, a local carte de mobilité, uh, with a, a card that does allow handicapped people to be identified and have special parking here in France. Uh, this other user right here here posted uh, the similar comparison uh, with two pictures right here indicating that the car right here did indeed uh, belong to a handicapped person uh, posting both pictures once again. Let's just take a closer look at both of these pictures here even though the quality is po very poor we have the picture uh, of the car of the handicapped person in the in the post and here we have another sample of this carte de mobilité. Uh, so what uh, how can can we conclude that both are the same uh, with these logos right here you can see this uh, sign of a handicapped person and this QR code which do correspond to the ones in the picture that we saw on the SUV that was targeted by this activist uh, group uh, so taking a step further uh, Czech News also was able to geolocate where this photo uh, was uh, taken in a ten rue d'Angine where you can indeed identify this handicapped person's street sign right here uh, with uh, on the ground with this person on a wheelchair. So uh, 
Czech News also reached out to uh, tire extinguishers uh, regarding this controversy, and they do confirm that this was a mistake. Uh, so their first action in Lyon, Lyon, not a very successful one. Tom. Yeah, targeting uh, cars and disabled parking spaces, not a, a great PR move there. Catalina de March and Diabro, thank you very much indeed for today's edition of Truth or Fake.